Today we're going to be doing a video tutorial about proper light diffusion uh, and particularly how to diffuse light for objects that are very small. For today's example we're going to be imaging this small parasitoid wasp and this is what we're looking at through the lens at 5x. So you can see this wasp is really no larger than the point of a pin. Before I really get into showing you what techniques we use and what we've used in the past, I'd just like to show this brief reconstruction of how light really behaves in a room. So this reconstruction, what they do is they fire a packet of photons, and you can see how light bounces off one wall and then scatters. And then you can see how the particles which have been scattered bounce off of the next object. These same concepts are very important in macro photography when it comes to choosing the type of lighting uh, that you're going to be using. And the following experiment is a good analog. You can see that when a packet of photons are fired through this Coke bottle, you can see that there's a lot of glare. It's really, really bright as this uh, gets fired clear through the bottle. But as we wait, what you'll see is that this same packet will bounce off of the cap in the Coke bottle and long after you, it, it seems like the light disappears, if you look on the left side of the Coke bottle near the bottom, you'll see that light travels back to the bottom and then gets re-illuminated. The light is then very soft, and this is the type of lighting that we want to replicate uh, when we're imaging very tiny objects. So in the past, we've experimented with fiber optics, backlighting, we've even rigged these nice styrofoam cups on fluorescent lights on our first prototypes. Uh, we've even used LED lights. But nothing really compares with the brightness of the dual macro flash by Canon paired with a simple basic styrofoam cup. And that's because as there's a short sudden burst at 1 64th of a second of light, it will bounce off of the cup, and because it's cylindrical, it's going to be focused right back down to where your object is located on the stage. So we're going to run a series of tests with that parasitoid wasp. The first image is with no cup, no flash. The next is with one flash, no cup, but the light is blocked from the bottom of the stage. Next one, we're going to add the cup, but we're also going to move the flash heads up a bit so that light is directly hitting uh, the wasp. Then we're going to pull the flash heads back down so that no light is directly hitting the wasp, but it's entirely diffused from the cup. So this demonstration really shows the importance uh, of light in macro photography. So really the two key things you want to take away is you need a really good diffuser. In our case we use the styrofoam cup and you really want to avoid any direct light. Thank you very much for listening and before we go we'd just like to show you the final output image that we captured of this wasp.